sample that you see here is Kentucky bluegrass, and the genus species name is Poa pertensis. This is a fairly common lawn grass uh, that we see in the Maryland area, also throughout the U.S., particularly in the northern uh, parts of the United States. It um, can be used from anywhere from uh, mowing heights of, say, one to two inches, um, so we might see it in athletic fields, to lawn turf. And one of the characteristics of Kentucky bluegrass is if we look at leaf texture, it's considered to be uh, a medium leaf texture, normally probably around two to three millimeter uh, leaf width. Kentucky bluegrass will have what's called a, a folded leaf renation. So if I look at the youngest leaf, which would be here, as it emerges, it would be folded. Um, so we once again want to look at the newest leaf, which would be towards the center of the plant to determine leaf renation. Also, uh, you may find the leaf tips that have what they call boat tip or canoe tip on the leaf tips of Kentucky bluegrass. The ligule is described as a very short membranous ligule. What I want to try to demonstrate is just the amount of uh, rhizome or rhizominous growth characteristics that uh, Kentucky bluegrass has produced. So uh, a rhizome is considered to be an underground lateral stem, and you can see a new growth here on this particular uh, sample. If I go over to here, I can see the rhizome uh, growth occurring here at the base of the bluegrass plant. So um, with bluegrasses, Kentucky bluegrass in particular, uh, presence of uh, rhizomes or rhizominous growth is uh, an important vegetative characteristic uh, to note about this particular species. The sample that we have here is annual bluegrass. The genus species name is Poa annua. And I guess some of the Distinctive characteristics, as you can see here, is just the amount of uh, seedhead or inflorescence development going on at this time of the year. This time period now is early uh, November when these uh, photographs are uh, being taken. The other thing, too, with annual bluegrass is you uh, typically see it more kind of a lime green, light green color compared to some of the darker green color of some of our tall fescues or Kentucky bluegrass. So this color difference can be fairly noticeable. Annual bluegrass is a uh, grass that's considered to have sort of medium uh, leaf texture to it, so it's similar to Kentucky bluegrass. It also, uh, as we have new leaf emergence, it's considered to be a folded leaf renation. So all of our bluegrasses will typically have a folded leaf renation as the leaves emerge. One of the major differences between Kentucky bluegrass and annual bluegrass is the size of the legule. With annual bluegrasses, the sample that we're showing you here you can see how large the membrane ligule is. It's probably getting up close to about a millimeter or so in, in height, where the Kentucky bluegrass ligule tends to be probably a you know, quarter of a millimeter in height. So there's a big difference in the size of the uh, membrane ligule between this sample in your bluegrass and Kentucky bluegrass. One of the interesting things and another trait that you often see with annual bluegrass is that if we look at the leaf blade, we'll see um, almost like an um, undulation or ribbing effect that occurs right here on the uh, leaf blade. So annual bluegrass is native for its prolific uh, seed head production. And you can see here um, that it's in a flowering uh, situation. We have a panicle type inflorescence with annual bluegrass. Uh, normally we see a lot of the flower developing late in the fall and, and through the spring period. And as we go into our hotter, drier periods of the year, uh, the plant will die out, but the seed is produced and will remain viable in the soil until more favorable conditions for uh, germination occur. Okay, so the sample that we're looking at here is uh, rough bluegrass, also known as Poa trivialis. It's, um, it's a Poa in the genus, that particular group, uh, same as Kentucky bluegrass and, and annual bluegrass, but um, the rough bluegrass, some of the uh, characteristics, you know, if you look out in the field, uh, is the fact that it will have a lot of stolen type growth characteristics to it. It also will have a very shiny underside to the leaf blade, and it kind of almost looks like a ryegrass, pretty a ryegrass when you look at it uh, in the field. Um, one of the problems with this particular plant is that it doesn't have very good heat drought tolerance, so if it gets into a lawn area, it tends to fade out as you go through the summer, summer months. Rough bluegrass will have a folded leaf renation. Uh, it's considered to be a medium uh, leaf texture. Uh, so once again, it looks very similar to things like Kentucky bluegrass with regards to, uh, to leaf texture. Uh, if I go to 
show the back side of the uh, leaf blade, you may see that there may be a somewhat shiny appearance to it, particularly if the sun hits it in a certain direction. That is uh, very typical. Of the Identifying characteristic for the Poetry of Alice is the presence of this membranous ligule. It tends to be a little bit bigger or longer than Kentucky bluegrass, but uh, a little bit shorter than our uh, annual bluegrass. So the this membranous ligule, uh, once again, is an important characteristic to note for the rough bluegrass. Poetry of Alice or rough bluegrass, you will find that it does produce uh, stolen type uh, growth characteristics to it. So once again, that's an important vegetative characteristic of uh, rough bluegrass. Perennial ryegrass is uh, Lolium perenni, and it's a uh, Turf grass, at least in the mid-Atlantic region, uh, that we see in either seed mixes with Kentucky bluegrass or tall fescue, uh, and also we see a lot of it in athletic fields where they may use it as an overseeding grass because of its quick establishment into warm season grasses, or we might see it as um, a, a low mode fairway type grass on golf courses, for example, or on tees. Or areas that, if we're looking at mowing heights of, say, uh, three quarters of an inch or so, uh, you may see uh, the use of perennial ryegrass. So with perennial ryegrass, it's considered to be a medium leaf texture. Uh, and then if I were to look on the back side, you may notice how shiny the underside of the leaf is. And you may also notice a prominent mid vein that runs down uh, the back of perennial ryegrass. As it's considered to have a folded leaf renation so that if we look at the youngest leaf as it's emerging, it's, it's folded. And once again, this would be similar to uh, Kentucky bluegrasses. So once this ryegrass and Kentucky bluegrasses can often be found in, in mixtures together, they have the same texture, they're both folded leaf renation. One of the characteristics that I look for if you get any sun on, on the plant is you can see this very shiny underside of the leaf blade that can help identify it. Perennial ryegrass is often mixed with Kentucky bluegrass and one of uh, kind of a unique characteristics and maybe telling them the part because they, their texture uh, tends to be a uh, you know, medium leaf texture but if we pull back some of the older uh, leaf blades and the leaf sheaths and get down to this area one of the things that you'll notice with perennial ryegrass is this purple color down towards the base uh, where we're just above the crown area and you'll see this uh, purple uh, color that's real, uh, to me, distinctive in looking at perennial ryegrass compared to Kentucky bluegrass. With annual ryegrass, the, some of the characteristics, it's considered to be a coarse textured grass. Um, it is consider, considered to be a temporary type grass that you might see in some of the seedings that are done. Uh, if you get the sun on it, you may notice the back of the leaf uh, tends to be somewhat shiny. Uh, the genus species name for annual ryegrass is Lolium uh, multiflorum. And um, it also will have some, a, a rolled leaf renation. So we'll take a closer look at some of the other characteristics of annual ryegrass. So with annual ryegrass, we'll see a shiny underside uh, with regards to the uh, leaf blade. Uh, typically, we'll see a fairly prominent mid vein that runs down. And then the plant will have a rolled leaf renation. So if we look at the youngest leaf, as it emerges, it will be rolled. The presence of what is described as clasping oracles is a real important uh, feature when identifying annual ryegrass. So what we're showing you here is the membranous ligule with regards to the annual ryegrass and then also these clasping oracles is another distinctive uh, trait of annual ryegrass.